guys, it's Jasmine and Janaya. And today we're going to be doing another episode on what's on it. So today we're going to be testing two things, total bacteria and a specific type of bacteria, staph. We're going to test it on keys and lotion since we use those like almost every day. Okay, so staph, um, one of the one of one of the strains of staph is MRSA. MRSA is a super bug. This is cute, but this is not what you think. It's a bad bug, I tell you. A very bad bug. Okay, let's start testing. I'm gonna be doing the keys. I'm gonna be doing the look. Now you almost Let grabbed the super bug. I'm gonna go get a pick. It's a swab. Oh, swab. So you gotta open the lotion, Janaya. There. Okay, so now you gotta swab it on the plate. Thank you. This Don't one? I need the PPS? Okay. So first you're going to streak it on this plate and then you're going to streak it on that plate. That plate is called mannitol salt agar. It's what we call a differential plate because it will grow certain types of bacteria and not others. The ones that will grow on it are called halophiles because they love salt. Staph is one of the main halophiles that we know that's um, common out there. So I got that one. Okay, so now now that. time for turn this. it up around. Ew, it looks dirty. That's just the color of the lotion. Now I'm all done with mine. Okay, so first I'm gonna just dip this in some PBS. And it's sterile. I'm going to do it on the keys. You get a couple of keys. I mean, people touch keys every day. And I've seen videos where babies are eating keys. You know, what are they eating? Come on, do the other. And you might as well take through. the keys off so you don't need. Do one side and then you can... Good. Now you go on the other plate and turn the swab onto the other side. And we're going to see tomorrow what's on it. Alright. So let's put the um, plates in the incubator. Naya. Let's put our plates in the incubator. Put it right there. There. This is my brother Jaden, and I'm going to ask him some questions on staff, the superbug. Because he's done research with staff, and I, um, he knows more than I do. Okay. What can staff cause? Skin infections. Almost every infection. Like what type of infection? Skin infection, heart infections, and things like that. Yeah, most commonly causes skin infections. So you say all this can be infected by staph? Yes. One little bug? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. Is it a really, really bad pathogen? Uh, not really. Um. Sometimes. It's an opportunist. So every single time the immune weakens, it decides to be bad. Fun fact. Staph can be found anywhere. Light switches, doorknobs, other people, obviously. I should probably test staff on you. Hey, you don't need to do that. There's already staff on me. You see this? There's staff on you, there's staff on you. Staff on the floor. There's obviously staff on you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, also. 
Um, the, there's there's two species. Well, there's a lot of species. The most common ones are Staph aureus and Staph epidermidis. We're testing Staph aureus. Staph aureus is definitely worse than Staph epidermidis. Okay, so now we're gonna check the results. So Naya, why don't you show them theirs first? This doesn't really have Staph bacteria on it, on the lotion. But this one has ba bacteria on it. Can you hold it up, let me see. Yeah, there's some bacteria. Not a lot. I guess lotion has some it's um, clean. stuff to, you know, prevent bacteria from growing. What about you? Okay, Pretty clean. So the keys had some normal bacteria, not that much. Okay, let me see. Put the plate up properly. Let me see. Okay. But it also had some staff. But what I'm thinking about it is, you know how the human hand is always touching keys? No, there's normally like staff on your hand. And to check it, what I'm gonna be doing is a simple stain. And I'll be checking it on this slide. But before I do that, these are what the plates looked like before we did it. Yeah, you see the yellowing of those colonies? That's because the bacteria, the staph or this bacteria, um, eats the sugar in the plate. The sugar that's in it is called mannitol. All right, so um, staph aureus, when it eats the sugar on the plate, it kind of puts out acid, and that's why the plate starts looking yellow around it. So that's what make, makes me say staph aureus. But Jasmine's just gonna do um, a simple stain just to show you what staph bacteria looks like, and Janaya is going to pick a bacteria from her plate just to see what they look like. Okay? Right. Take that now. No, this plate, there's nothing on that plate. Take it in. Mm -hmm. Get the sizzling until it stops. You take one of the other colonies. a lot of bacteria you picked up now. Oh, you got it on the table. Okay, heat up the loop. Jordan, you don't have gloves on, so you don't expect to do anything. Put it on here. Facing this way. No, like that. I'll tell you when to stop. Because what this step is called is heat fixing. So you're, ki you're killing the cell, the bacteria, and you're forcing the proteins of the bacteria to stick to the slide. Is this so when you stain it, it doesn't wash off. Is that why it's called the bactecinerator? Mm -hmm. Put it on it. Okay, we made our bacterial smears. Now we're about to do the silkable stain. We're gonna be using crystal violet. So. Make sure you don't get it on your clothes because if that gets on your clothes, that is it. Yeah, you know what? Roll up my sleeve, Jamie. Janaya? Sure. Okay, there we go. Now we have to pour it onto the yeah, slide. Yeah, pour it onto the bacteria. Just squeeze it on. So it covers the circle. Okay, Naya, your turn. Okay, so now to finish this, we're just gonna put it inside the water and rinse it off. I'll go for it. Very good. I see you do. Looks so beautiful when it comes. See, it's purple. Mm -hmm. okay, that's good. You can, I'll show you how to dry it. Rinse I know how to dry it. You can't rub it. Yeah, I know. Okay, so, dry and we'll slide. Just pat it. Don't scrub. Okay. It's okay. Alright, so now we're gonna look at this. We're going to be putting these under the microscope. What it's going to do is make these, the bacteria on the slide, make it look big. Okay, so these are the objective lens. 
I'll start off with low power. And then you look through and you focus it till you see something. You have to focus it, Jasmine. Oh, where is it? Use a course adjustment knob, the big knob first. Purple dots come into view. Oh, it's big. It's small, big, small. There's a lot. Okay, so you've got it focused. Mm -hmm. All right, now we got to change objectives to the high power. Can you focus it. Small one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna be using oil emergent so it looks, so it's like super super big. Okay, so just drop the oil right on the light. You won't flood it. Just a drop. Okay. And then you put it on the total magnification of a thousand X. Oh, it's gonna go on. It's not gonna hit it. Okay. And then you can um, use a fine adjustment knob only. Which the small one, one the small, yes. Slowly move it until it comes into view. At least take your jacket off so it would be hard to hurt. Is it coming into view? Move it in the other direction. If it's not coming in view. Okay, so my mom adjusted it. I don't know how it looks like, so. Whoa! That's super purple. They Let just me see look, if I can get it into the screen. They look like super big. They look like small balls that are attached to each other. Let's see. They look like clusters of grapes, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, that's a super bug. Did they see it? Well, we don't know if it's a super bug. This is what a typical staff looks Whoa, like. Whoa, they can see it. Mm-hmm. Looks. See, looks like Ugh. clusters of grapes. They're really small circles. Okay, nice All right, so I'm gonna help Janaya focus because, you know, she's pretty much eight. Um, Jasmine is 11, so that's different. She can handle it. There's a lot of bacteria on here. That looks like staph, too. We'll see. This is rods. It. These are rods. Are they? Is it good that it's rods? Mm, there's different types of rod-shaped bacteria. Whoa! Super tiny and lots of dots. Let's see. Okay, Janelle. Let me. All right. So, let's see what this is. Okay. Don't bump my arm. Okay. So, I see some cluster. They look like. Short rods. Yep, there's some rods in there. Rod shaped bacteria is what we call bacillus shape. There's different types, like E. coli is a rod. I mean, it could be anything. There's short rods, so it's. Right, so Jordan actually picked Jasmine's yellow plate, her TSA plates. Jaden um, helped him. All right, so Jaden, you can help him focus the microscope. This mine? Yeah. There you go. Daniel, I'm gonna take my gloves off. Cause it's very hot inside this of the gloves. Yours? Yeah, that's not mine. This one's yours, this one. I don't think yeah. you can. Okay, no, you have to use the course adjustment knob. Mom, which one's mine? I don't know. This one's yours, this one's yours. Cause I don't remember. All right, so what do you see? What color is it, Jordan? Purple. What's the shape of the bacteria? Circle. Like circles. Are they clusters or are they in chains or you see both? I see both. Okay, let me see. Are you looking in there, Jim? Okay. Mm. All right, so let's see what this one looks like. Okay, I see clusters, circles. I see chains. 
A circle, chains of circles called streptococci. Or streptococcus, that's the organism that causes strep throat looks like that. Whoa, okay. So we had. Okay, so on the keys we found more like a cacti strip and like circle bacteria, like that. But Janaya, she found like stuff more like rods. So. Does that mean that it's harmful and you don't That doesn't you? mean it's harmful because sometimes in the human body it has bacteria. There's such thing as good bacteria and harmful bacteria, so it doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. Okay, so, wow, this is exciting. All right, so, is there anything you want to tell your audience? Bye. Bye. <laughs>